Wow, very good morning to you. Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. It is a pleasure being with you today on this particular Monday morning. You're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And it's all about goal setting and dream alignment. How can you set the right goal for you, for yourself? How can you best align your dream with what you desire? And uh, what are the terminologies that we are looking at here? How, do you dif you know, how can you differentiate between the short-term goal the long-term goals and uh, dream well they say all dreams are valid yes but then at the end of the day how can you align yourself with the right dream well ladies and gentlemen today i am with uh, sifunjo vanessa award she is uh, from jipange Jijenge Youth Nairobi, uh, she is the chapter lead. Karib sana, Vanessa. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look lovely. <laughs> thank you so much. You're well? Yes, I'm well. Asante sana. Yes. Now, remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. It's all about youth and career talk. And as we continue with this conversation, remember, we are also streaming live through our website, www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 that is www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 engage with us the hashtag is why in the morning ask your questions when it comes to setting the right goals ask because this will help you in your career the hashtag is why in the morning tag me at ram aguko and that y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us also let us know where you're watching us from okay even ask as, as you ask your questions vanessa is here to answer them Cindy. absolutely now let's first of all start why is goal setting important um what what makes it so significant in the life of a youth right now especially this age and time um i think at this age and time um for a youth uh like myself and mm. the rest of you know uh, the people in my bandwagon i think it's important because it gets to a point where you realize that hey we're not just here for games and fun mm. and you get to a point whereby there's so much pressure and yeah, you start yeah. asking yourself where is my life headed to mm. what am i going to do in the next five years yeah. and everyone you meet is asking you um where do you see yourself in the next five ten years and most of the time you realize you might not even have an answer for that why is that maybe because you have not had that thought process mm -hmm, and you have not mm -hmm. put your thought in order to see mm -hmm. like hey vanessa what would you want to do five years from now what do you want to do next week what do you want to do tomorrow to make mm -hmm. a difference um between who you are today and who you are tomorrow so i think it's important to give you that perspective mm -hmm. to give you a clear vision of where your life is headed to and where you're going as a youth as a youth yes i, I, I don't know if that question you asked, as it has reminded me of um a conversation many people who always have, I don't mm -hmm. know if some have it, people who have, who are, who have just started dating. Mm -hmm. And they ask themselves, where do you see each other in the next five years? <laughs> you know, uh, and, 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 and that's when things get tricky. Mm -hmm. Because now uh, your partner is asking you a question where they see themselves in the next five years, mm -hmm. or where is, is asking you whether where you see yourself in the next five years, mm -hmm. and you don't know whether it's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't know whether it's a trap or not. Yeah. Um, but it's important because when you set your goals right, you can be able to predict how far you can go. Absolutely. In, in, in a few years' time. Mm -hmm. Is that so? That's so. Yeah. Now, um, le let's get to know this. When it comes to goal setting, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the the, 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 the the tips that we can we need to have? Mm -hmm. um, just briefly, um, the tips we need to have that can help us to set the right goals for ourselves, mm -hmm. like those guidelines that we can have, so that uh, you know we, we we don't end up mixing what uh, one thing with another. Mm -hmm. Right, like I'd say, um, when you're setting your goal, mm. first of all, you need to know yourself. You'd find yourself um, entangled between, or um, you find yourself in a conundrum whereby you're trying to look at your neighbor or your best friend or yeah. even your 
boyfriend or your girlfriend at that point in time mm. and you're trying to look at where they are and you're trying to be in that competition and you don't realize that you're in your own lane so the moment uh -huh. you are very mixed up you you will find yourself borrowing goals from other people and at the end of the day as you seek to fulfill them you will not find that satisfaction because it's not what you wanted to begin because with. You're, you are copy pasting exactly. someone else's dream yes and that is very common so is it bad to say that i would like to be like somebody not at all. That's different because now that's a point of inspiration. You know, the, 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 the entire haze on social media right now and everyone is like social media is fake and it, it's leading to depression and it's leading to, you know, you, you downgrade yourself as an individual. It's because you're not looking at the other person as an inspiration. You mm. are looking at them. You want to be like them. Um, one of my uh, very, I'd say, someone I look up to in the social media space, she says... Look, I'm not perfect. There are things you can borrow, but borrow them and in the meantime, remember to, to be yourself even as you borrow those. So it's basically really important for you to, mm. it's mm. really important for you to, um, as, even as you seek to look for inspiration from other people, remember to be yourself as you set your goals. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing, very important. Uh -huh. And then, right. um, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then after that, mm. that's when after you realize who you are and what you want out of life, it's easy to pen them down. Remember you're told it's easier for you to write your goals down. It's easier for you to track them. You can see last week you wrote this and you did not actually get to fulfill it. So you can mm. actually track your... So write them down. Absolutely. Write now, them now down. where do you write them? <laughs> I can't know, but some, you know, some people write these uh, goals in, in sticky notes mm. and then they stick them on their wall. Some mm. have them in notebooks. Others have them maybe uh, somewhere near their bed. Yeah. You know, uh, where do you write? Is, is there a particular place that is good? Because you <laughs> don't want to also lose your paper, <laughs> your piece of paper. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I'd not say there's a specific formula for that. Yeah. However, I'd recommend a few a few tips here and there. Yeah. What is um, taking over uh, our current in our current uh, youth realm right now is something called a vision board. Mm. It's something I have. It's something my friends have, and it's something that has proven to work over the years. So a vision board is one way you can put your you can put your goals down. The only difference between putting your goals down in a vision board and putting your goals goals down in a journal is that a vision board is more visionary. You can actually see what you want to get at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So when I say um, at the end of, for example, by the end of this year, I want to have graduated, right? Yes. So a vision board actually has a picture of maybe a graduation gown. So you can actually see it and you can put it on your wall. Others prefer to journal and it's okay. To, to others have a diary where they put it down and it's okay. The sticky note group, it's also okay. As long as you can be able to actually store them and be able to trace them. Sit down one day and say, okay, let me see my progress since January. So what have I done? What have I not done? Whether mm -hmm. it's long term or a short term goal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. so, 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 so you see. You, you, you get a vision board. Yes. And um, how can you make it? Because now people come from different backgrounds, you yeah. know. Um, how, is it possible to, 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 to get a vision board f um, from the comfort of your home? How can you um, make your own, regardless mm. of where you come from? Yeah, a vision board, you can actually do it yourself. It's very budget friendly. You just need um, a cardboard. And for those who can't afford a cardboard, you can use um, a box. Mm. So what you do is you just cut out uh, mm -hmm. a box, what, whichever size fits you mm -hmm. and your goals, depending mm -hmm. on how many goals you have. Mm -hmm. And then you can go online, um, download the pictures you want that are relevant to those to those goals that you have. So if mm -hmm. it's uh, graduating, get a graduation gown. If it's traveling uh, on a plane for those who want to get on, a, on the plane for the first time, get a picture, get a picture of a plane. And we, just you stick it there. Yeah, just stick it there and just put it on your wall. And every day in the morning, you wake up and you remind yourself, OK, this is the goal. This is the prize for the year, for the month, for the week. But the problem is now every day you wake up and you see that and it discourages you. <laughs> Does it mean you set the wrong goals for yourself? Perhaps if you feel discouraged, okay, it, it's two-way. You might feel discouraged because maybe you set the wrong goal and you should go back and, re and, re and retrospect into that. Mm -hmm. Or you could also check your mindset because sometimes it's all about the mindset. Yeah. You feel uh, discouraged not because you cannot do it, but because you feel like you're not enough and you're not worthy. That goes back to who you are as a person and mm -hmm. how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said in the beginning, you have to know what you really want and not depend on what other people 
think you want. So uh -huh, that way, uh -huh. you can know in your own capacity, this is what I can get. Your parents might, might want you to come back home with a first class, mm -hmm. but you know your struggle and you know how you cope in school. So your vision board, the moment it reads first class and you know very well it's a struggle for you and you know your capability, um, um, as you know like um, who you are then it becomes a problem that's when you feel discouraged so sometimes uh -huh, it's yeah. it's basically it's you discouraged because you know very well it's not something that has come from within you it's something that you have borrowed or society has put pressure on you like propose to her before 30 get a wife before 30 it's not something you'd want you know mm. but perhaps because society has said so and now it's on your goal or it's on your vision board you won't even want uh, you won't even love this wife it's just because you know society has said so the moment it's something that you want from within i think it's beca it becomes easier in the issue of um downplaying yourself becomes uh, a history yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Because, because now it you you've um, brought in a very important point here you do something because somebody else wants you to do them. Mm. Many are doing courses that they didn't plan on doing. Mm. Somebody chose that course for them. This, and, you know, and, and, and of course, um, the question is, how, 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 um, how does that, how deep can that affect someone's own personal goals? Because now you want me to do this course, mm. but I don't want to do that course. You know how mm -hmm. how deep can that affect that uh, someone's goal? And you will, as you as you answer that, you also let us now know for those who started doing something because someone else forced them or they, or they were obliged because of circumstances to do that. Is it possible for them to still realign themselves into their own goals later on? Yes, I'd say absolutely. Okay, first of all, I feel like the concept of people kind of choking down what they think is best for you mm. down your throat. It's very destructive. This is why you find that you had a goal. Um, you want to be a chef. You want to be a chef, for example. Yeah. But you have to spend your first four years in campus doing a course for your parents, right? Mm. After you take the degree back home, that's when you say, okay, now I can proceed to do what I, want, I wanted to do in the first place. Mm. So first of all, there's an issue of time lapse there. So you find that you spend so much time doing something that you would not necessarily have wanted to do um, if it was up to you, right? So mm. there's that, there's that hitch. Um, you find that you even blossom later as compared to your peers because now yeah, you yeah. start your journey is starting after everybody else has, you know, as kind a, of finished. Yeah, yeah. But I'd say it's totally okay to realign yourself. Um, it's never too late. It's never too late. Again, the issue of timelines. Mm -hmm. It's I, I think it's just a blur the society has created to put pressure on people. What about this thing of someone saying, ah, well, when need? Do you did you set the right goals for yourself? Yeah, because you can even attest the fact that the people who are usually forced into, let's say, a good example, because I've seen the consequences, marriage. You find that, you know, unambio ujaolewa and everybody's pressuring you, but the moment you get into that marriage, are you even happy? No, you're not. Okay, 10 years down the line, you're divorced. You have to go back to square one. So it's... It's a, very, it's, it's a concept I've always had an issue with because mm. I feel like it's derailing most people, and especially the youth, because the pressure begins the moment you hit 18. Mm. Okay, what are your plans? What are you bringing to the table? What's going on? What, where do you see yourself? So, so it's, it's, it's highly most likely that there'll be that pressure, and that pressure will lead to someone doing something they didn't want to do in the first place. Mm. The consequence of this is that this person will be dragged down by society. By the time they realign themselves, it might be... It might be I don't say late, it might be, they might have taken some time, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's still okay to go back and realign yourself. At the end of the day, self-realization is the goal. Mm -hmm. Even if you're 40, 50, so long as you get to that point where you realize who you are and what you actually want out of life. And I think yeah, that's the yeah. most fulfilling thing. Mm -hmm. I, don't even, I, don't even know, uh, I don't even know why there are time stamps to that, but I think the moment you, you have that value of self-realization, you'll be good to go no matter the time. And, 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 and it's still going to be possible for you to realign your dreams well, regardless of the time. Absolutely. Now, how can you rate success? Mm -hmm. How can you say that I have been successful in my goals? Mm -hmm. You know, w when do you say that you are successful? Because now many have set goals for themselves, mm -hmm. but 
you know um some are achieved others are not achieved at what point should i say that i'm a successful person in your in, in your view in my humble opinion yes in my opinion honestly and how I usually operate as an individual. Mm. And this has kept me going, it has kept me from getting into depression, and it has kept me from self degrading myself or devaluing myself because I haven't fulfilled ABC. Mm. I feel like I read success, even with that one thing that I said I'd do, and I have done. I might have had a to-do list of 10 things. Yes. But if I manage to tick even just one, I pat myself on the back. I mean, we live in, in a society whereby it's very hard to get even a compliment of, hey, you're doing great. I love what you're doing. Keep mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're your only cheer person. If you have others, you're pretty lucky. Yeah. But you realize that you are your cheer person. If you do not pat yourself on the back, no one else will pat your, no one else will pat your back for you. Mm -hmm. So for me, success is even that one thing I said yesterday, I'm going to do it. And I've done and it you, and you've done today. It. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to say, good job, Vanessa. You have done well for yourself. I should not say that, you know, because I've not achieved this. Okay. If you had 10 goals, yes. you've achieved one, yes. are you successful as opposed to somebody mm -hmm. who has uh, 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 achieved nine and mm -hmm. failed in one? Again, the issue of self-comparison comes in there. <laughs> because you realize, instead of looking at, okay, this is what I've done, you're like, okay, Jirenango will find, okay, what has he done? Yeah. And you will get so demoralized. Because mm. <laughs> if we start sitting down and comparing your mates who have even in campus right now i know we're still in school but you find someone is working someone has a side hustle someone is getting money so the moment you sit down and you try to like compare yourself it becomes a problem so that's why it's very important mm -hmm. to just realign yourself and focus on what you are doing it's yeah. good to be challenged don't misinterpret what i'm saying it's good uh -huh. to be challenged uh -huh. by other people but don't let it get into your head in such a manner that now it's an issue of i'm not good enough he is better and or she is better so for me even that one thing i consider it a success and the rest will figure it out mm -hmm. we are all mm -hmm. figuring it out mm -hmm. so do not feel the urge of feeling less worthy just because you're not on that path yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And, and and now for for many people who have um, n now started, yeah. Um, let's say they they, they plan to achieve something, mm -hmm. and then at some point they had to change their plans. Their dream was to be X, but now at some point because of life, yeah. life happens, and Nairobi Nairobi can treat you. <laughs> Now you leave that dream you had initially and do something else. How should this person understand mm. this particular conversation that we're having here today? Mm -hmm. You know, how can we bring in that individual who had to leave one goal for another mm -hmm. because life happened? Yeah. So I think um, from a realist point of view, because, you know, goals are beautiful, on, just like laws. Laws are beautiful on paper, statutes are beautiful, but the implementation, it becomes problem. a problem, right? Yes. So I feel like the goals are nice to keep you on track and to make you not forget where you are headed to or who you are in the first place. Mm -hmm. However, if it comes to a point whereby you realize, hey, this is not going like I planned. Yeah. This is not working for me, right? Mm -hmm. And I have to survive, so I have to adapt. Yeah. I have nothing against that. Like, honestly, I believe, <laughs> I honestly subscribe to the school of thought that you do what is required. You you make hay while the sun shines you at that point in time if it's required of you to do that thing and it's it's illogical for you to keep holding on to a goal that is probably impossible to you know keep mm -hmm. roll with it i mean whatever floats your boat as long as you do not forget the real purpose you might a goal might be postponed but do not cancel it you can postpone it mm -hmm. but don't cancel it for anything don't cancel it yeah so it's okay to postpone and say okay i will achieve this later Start doing something else. But if possible, go back to your original goal. If possible, yes. If possible. Yes. Now, when it comes to that particular aspect, um, what would be your piece of advice to uh, that person that is watching you today mm -hmm. and uh, they are about to, you know, today people are, 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 are we are starting the journey mm -hmm. of the KCPE. In, oh, a, in yes. a Puja Leo. Mm. Yeah, I remember sitting by KCP. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah. Breathtaking. But, 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 but there is um, somebody, there is a young person who is watching you today and they have 
finished, they are, they are done with the examinations. They are now at home and they are stranded. They don't know what next. Mm. They don't know what which course to choose. Yes. They don't know which career to align themselves in. They don't know now how to set their goals right. What would be your piece of advice to that particular youth? I'd say, I'd answer that question as I reflect back to who I was at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, there was so much pressure. And you think, this is the end. If I can't choose a course, this is the end of my life. Yeah. And I'm not going anywhere after this. And even if you said, okay, it's 400 in international school, and you get 370, and now you have to go to provincial school, mm -hmm. you'd feel like your life is going to end. Yeah. But for that particular group, I'd honestly say, like from experience, what I'd tell a 13, 14, 15 year old me, is like, it's okay, take it easy on yourself. Uh -huh. You might not be able to achieve all these things. You're only 15, honey, you're only 13. It's yeah. okay not to have it all figured out. I'm 22. Uh -huh. I can tell you I don't have it all figured out. Uh -huh. And at that time, I did not have it figured out. Uh -huh. So it's, it's totally okay for you to be in that kind of confusion. Do not beat yourself down. You will figure it out with time and with as time. for those who are selecting courses mm -hmm. it's a conundrum i know i was there i've been there however if you know what you want go for it if you do not consult mm -hmm. there are people who see you and they can actually tell you like hey you can do this and you had not thought about it but the moment they pitch that idea to you you start thinking about exactly. that and along that line exactly. so be mm -hmm. open be open to ideas and suggestions if you do not know where you're, you're headed to mm -hmm. and if you do kindly go for it Mm -hmm. Run with it. Run with it. But at the end of the day, just don't be hard on yourself. We don't all have it figured out. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, I want us to, to, to bring this to a close, but before we do that, mm -hmm. Jijenge. Yes. Let's talk about the Jenge. Uh, what is Jijenge all about? Jijenge Youth Organization, it's a CBO, uh -huh. and uh, it's a, also a YBO. It's a community-based organization, and it's a youth-based organization. Mm -hmm. So Jijenge's main aim, I, I'll just summarize, it's to make the society a better place. So you find that the programs we indulge in are majorly aimed at helping either the less fortunate, helping those in need, or helping those who do not have a voice for themselves. Mm -hmm. When I talk about Jijenge, you'll hear programs like... Um, uh, gender-based violence, you'll hear programs like menstrual health, mental health, which is now a conversation that is emerging and I'm so happy about it. Mm -hmm. You'll even hear about street kids, you know. Mm -hmm. We will ask other organizations to help them out of that situation, out of oh, out of the streets, and even if we can, even get in, them into the entrepreneurship uh, line of a line of thought or line of life. Mm -hmm. So Jijenge is all about, we are very, we are all inclusive, right? Mm -hmm. We are, we have a girls program and we have the boys program as well. So okay, okay. we are focused everything around um, um, SGB, everything around menstrual health, everything about sexual and reproductive education, mm -hmm. everything about mental health. And also we do some bit of environmental work. So we all plant right, trees, right. we mm -hmm. clean the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you just give me just a brief a glimpse of of the girls program and the boys program yeah and, uh, and and so they're taught separately yes there are programs that are taught separately but there are programs that are, they, that are taught like all of them yeah together. like mental health they're put together yes okay. absolutely yes. but something like menstrual health mm -hmm. because it's majorly um <laughs> it's majorly affecting the girls yes, you yes. find that we focus mainly on the girls when we are delivering on that program mm -hmm. um issues of sexual reproductive health of course it's both but we, we teach them separately because sexual reproductive health for girls is a tad bit different from sexual reproductive health for boys yes, but of yes. course in some aspects we tend to bring them together because um matters of sexual reproductive health is something that's common to every single person right mm -hmm. and then the boys program um majorly we we implemented the streets program for the boys because we realized in kisumu because the kisumu is the motherland for the program there are so many street kids and their boys so that program was majorly brought in for them and of course the program around entrepreneurial skills whereby we train we train them we find maybe uh, experts or professionals in that field who can volunteer to train them and then they can be brought into the entrepreneurial space so that they can be able to find that financial freedom they need to get out of the streets Wonderful. something along those lines yes Vanessa you're doing a good job Thank you. <laughs> How can people find you on social media? Because now you've talked to the youth and you've engaged, engaged with them mm. and they want to get a hold of you. Yeah. We're on Instagram as Jenga Youth Organization. We are on uh, 
Facebook as Jenge Youth as well, and we also have a YouTube channel. It's called Jenge TV. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jenge TV. Yes. Asante sana. Kajit. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I wish well. you the best. Thank you. And I love the fact that you talked about goal setting. And from today, I believe that from home, you're going to 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 set up your goals. Vanessa Mesema. It should be personalized. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You said we write it down. Yes. You said we also do what? Uh, we, 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 we put it on... on, on uh, Give it timelines, yes? Give it timelines. Don't let it be vague. You know. There is something you said earlier before you said give it timeline. That mm -hmm. board. Oh yeah, put it on a vision board. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Yes. A vision board. Yes. And of course you said give it a, a timeline. Yes. And you also said that in case you leave one goal for another, mm. don't drop the, that one. Go back to it later on. Postpone it. Don't cancel it. Postpone, don't cancel. Yes. I'm looking for a part two for this. <laughs> we should talk about this. <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Asante. Yes. All right, that brings us to the end of this particular conversation right here on Wine in the Morning, but we still have more lined up for you coming up in a bit. Keep it Y254.